and good morning y'all hey this is old man gib and welcome back today i would like to discuss with y'all a few topics um but first i just wanted to apologize for the length it's been between these conversations um had a few rough days um doing a lot better now um i still battle with uh depression and i am in treatment like we've talked about um i'm in the emdr um i'm gonna preface this right here right now for anybody listening i am not a licensed therapist a psychiatrist or anything like that i'm just a fella out there that has gone through some suffering and i'm trying to share my experiences with y'all in the hopes that y'all might get some benefit out of what i've gone through and that it be a blessing to you okay um i'm titling in this session the battle for our brain and our soul now regardless of what it is that we've experienced um because trauma is a funny thing what might be traumatic to me may not even phase another person what may be traumatic to them may not phase me so to say any certain thing is a trauma um definitively blank statement um, or isn't a trauma is a fallacy so if anybody ever tells you that smile at them say hey may the good lord bless you turn around and walk away and don't listen to a word they have to say because they're gonna lie to you maybe not intentionally but that's gonna be the end result okay now for me i have discovered that the battle for my brain and my thoughts is what brings about my depression okay when i start having negative thoughts negative emotions my depression deepens when i start having positive thoughts positive emotions my depression lessens okay um doesn't matter whether i'm taking medication or whether i'm in therapy or what kind of treatment i'm taking it seems to be that way so um for me i have found that Controlling my thoughts and keeping my thoughts in a good place is very much the key to battling my depression. Okay. Now, also with depression and thoughts, you have some side effects such as your motivation. Um, if you're having, trying to keep positive thoughts going and now you're going to have bad days, bad afternoons, bad mornings. We all do. Um, not escapable. Um, your motivation goes up and down, up and down. Um, so trying to keep good thoughts going is going to help keep your motivation going. And if you're motivated, then that affects other things. The more motivated you are or the less you are, because it can affect things like for me, for example, is my weight gain. Um, in 2019, when I came down here to where I'm at living at now in Southern Arizona to take care of my elderly mother after my father passed away, I weighed about 225, 230 pounds. Okay. Um, I was motivated. I was out doing things. Oh, that was good. But the longer I was here, the less motivation I got, I was, um, the more I started gaining weight and till I'm at where I'm at right now, which is about 310, 320 pounds, somewhere in there. And um, it's real hard for me to get out of the house, go do anything. Um, I try to go and swim and do things like that, but um, it's got difficult, real difficult um, in the last year or so. And so, but in that time, I've also um, refound my faith. And that is helping change my thoughts, which is helping my motivation and hopefully will help me to, you know, I believe will get me to being able to do more things, exercise and go swimming more and um, start burning off more calories that I put in my body 
and my weight will go down okay which has nothing but positive effects because when my weight goes down then your motivation gets better your mind can think clearer um I won't have issues with uh, maybe able to get off the blood pressure medications. Uh, may not be on the verge of like I am right now of diabetes, you know. So um, has nothing but positive, positive, positive attributes. Whereas the other side of that, with negative thoughts, um, contributes to your depression, contributes to weight gain, lack of motivation, and everything else. So. Um, I want to encourage all of you to not stand in front of a mirror and say, oh, you're beautiful. I love you. Of course you love you because nobody ever hates themselves. Um, even those of us that have attempted and committed suicide, it was all about self. It's all about me. Um, not about anybody else because when I attempted suicide, I wasn't thinking about anybody else. I was thinking about me. So, um, yeah. There's that, you know, which is all negative to begin with. So, um, now in this, I'm going to have come up on the screen um, some scripture that has exceptionally, exceptionally, exceptionally helped me. And I hope that it really, really, really helps y'all. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, if you need to talk, please reach out. You can get a hold of me on Discord, DM me. Um, but if you are in an emergency, I want you to reach down and hit 911 and tell them, hey, I'm so-and-so, I'm having a mental emergency and I need help. And they will call. If you don't want to call 911, call 988. It's a suicide hotline. If you're a veteran, call 988 and push 1. That takes you to the veterans section of the suicide line. Okay. Get help. Call, your, call a friend. Call a family member. Um, but please get help. You're not alone out there. You're not suffering by yourself. Um, and there is no shame in asking for help, people. As a matter of fact, one of the bravest, strongest things you can do in your life is say, I need help. I can't do it by myself anymore. And I'm in a bad place. Okay. Um, now I'm going to end this with a story that I heard when right after I had my attempt and I was in therapy. Now, many of you may have heard this or not, but I had never heard it and I thought it was pretty cool. There was a young man and he had, was in a deep, dark hole of despair and couldn't find it, couldn't get climb out of it, couldn't climb out of it. So he was down there one day and he started screaming for help. And this passerby comes down, looks in the hole and he says, I'd help you, but I have no rope. And he says, I'll go get some rope and I'll come back. The man goes away, never comes back. So the young man, he's down there screaming, help, 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 help. Another person comes by and says, hey, I've got some rope. So he throws it down, but it's not long enough. He says, okay, I'm going to go find some more rope. And he leaves, never comes back. Well, the third time, this other guy, he, he's screaming for help, help, help. And this old gentleman comes by and he looks down there and he says, hold on a minute. And he climbs down in the pit. And the young kid goes, what'd you do? He goes, now we're both stuck down here. And the old man turned around and looked at him and he says, that's okay. I know the way out. I've been here before. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been here before. We know the way out, okay? If you need help, don't stop screaming for help. Yet help is there. Um, so don't quit. Don't give up. Don't give up. There is the last easy day was yesterday. Today is a beautiful and wondrous new day. The scripture says that every day is created new. So have hope, have joy, have positive thoughts. May the good Lord bless absolutely every one of you. This is Old Man Gibb, and I will talk to you in the next one.